to go ahead and do this problem, if, um, if I want to go and solve this problem, what I want to do is I want to convert from degrees to radians. So a couple things you guys need to remember is there is a ratio uh, from degrees to radians. If you guys remember, if you look at a unit circle, pi, right, is halfway around the circle. I'm sorry, pi radians is halfway around the circle which is the same thing which we talked about in geometry, which is a straight angle, which is 180 degrees, okay? So um, when you guys look at that, what I want to do, if I want to convert this degrees to radians, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, use a, I'm going to use a ratio, and the ratio is pi is equal to 180 degrees. So what I'll do is I'm going to multiply this degree term times the ratio pi over 180. So I'm going to say 5 for 20, 32 degrees, times pi over 180 degrees. Therefore, then when I do this, I have 532 pi over 180 degrees. And what happens is your degrees now are gonna cancel out, right? Just like when you have like a three, ladies and gentlemen, shh, in the back. Um, when you have your degrees over here on your two sides, those are two are gonna cancel out. Um, and therefore now I just need to reduce this. So now it's in radians and I just need to reduce this value. So I, um, I look at this and I say, well, I can do 266 uh, over 90, right? Divide the top and bottom by two. Then I can divide it by two again, 133 pi <coughs> over 45. And then can that be reduced anymore? I don't think so. Nope. So therefore, in radian terms, that's what you do. Just make sure you divide by pi over 180 degrees. Okay, okay. I have a question. Do you yep. have to write it as a fraction? <laughs> or can you like just actually do the problem? Like, can it be in decimal form? Yeah. No, Courtney, that answers your question. Okay. So <laughs> why don't you multiply the 532 by the 180? <laughs> okay, here's why. Think about it this way. If you have, if I did x times x, that gives me what? 2x. Squared. X squared, right? Uh, yeah. x yeah. divided by x gives me what? 1. 1, right? Now, if I was just going to go back and I was going to rewrite this, okay? And this, what I'm just trying to explain with this is, this is 532 degrees. Right? Times pi is in radians over 180 uh, degrees. So what happens is I have a degree over degree. I have a degree over a degree, which we like to say cancels them out. Kind of similar to that. Okay. Right? So what happened was we got rid of our degree term. And then we're just left with the radians, which I don't need to write out because we know we only use pi and radians. But therefore, that's what I have that. All right. And then the other reason, Courtney, you could put it in decimal form, okay? But do 532, right? Remember, this is pi. Pi tells you to go all the way around, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you put it in decimal form, you get what? It's uh. It's um, 9.285. Okay. Yeah. 9.285 and what? keeps on going on and on, doesn't it? Yeah, it's going to go dot, 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 dot. So therefore, it's not an exact answer at all, is it? It's going to keep on going on and on. So therefore, if you multiply that, well, where is that on the unit circle? You'd have to multiply you know, your pi's. So we leave it in our fractional form because that's going to be our exact answer. It's just like when you evaluate for pi. We can't write out all the, we can't write out all the placeholders for pi. It's an irrational number. It goes on forever. So we leave the answer in terms of pi. So whenever you're finding these in radians, leave it as a fraction and leave your pi out there as well. Okay, can we just leave yep. it like that? Or do you, do you want to see some? No, I want to simplify. Okay, but how about, okay, see, I did them all on decimals because it says the direction is surround to three decimal places. When we're going to be getting into degree form, we'll be doing it in degree form, okay? We're doing it in uh, decimals. Okay. 